I would have just talked to her a few minutes longer. You know, uh, if we would have hugged before she went to work a few minutes longer. Then when she got to the end of the street, those guys would have already been gone. Just a heartbreaking ordeal there. Now two men indicted nearly two years after a deadly crash that Portland police say was the result of speed racing. That crash killed this woman, a Portland wife and mother, Joanne Martis. Prosecutors say 32-year-old Vladimir Pavlov and 20-year-old McKinley Faria now both face charges for second-degree manslaughter and criminally negligent homicide. Good evening and thanks for joining us for Queen 6 News at 10. I'm Elizabeth Din. Jeff Gianola has the night off. Jenny Young spoke with the victim's family tonight. She joins us live now. Such a heartbreaking story, Jenny. And how are the loved ones now reacting to these charges? Liz, the family tells me that both of those men stayed at the scene of the crash. They're curious. They want to know why it took so long to bring charges. And of course, this brings up so much pain. I think about Joanne every day. It's been 20 months since Joanne Martis left home for work and never came back. The house feels very empty. The pictures of Joanne that cover the walls of the home she and her husband Larry once shared certainly can't fill that emptiness, but they help him remember the good times. This is Larry's favorite photo of the two of them together. He tells me he's learning to move forward, but often replays that horrific day. The what ifs haunt him. If I would have just talked to her a few minutes longer, you know, uh, if we would have hugged before she went to work a few minutes longer. Then when she got to the end of the street, those guys would have already been gone. July 19th, 2020, on a Sunday afternoon, Joanne was in her blue pickup truck heading for her waitress shift at Elmer's Cafe. She was pulling off her street, turning on to Northeast 122nd, when a car slammed into the pickup, sending it spinning. Then another car smashed into it from the side. Larry says Joanne was on a ventilator, paralyzed from the neck down, but could still communicate. Her wishes to be taken off the ventilator were granted. Eight days after the crash, she passed away with her family by her side. She was a very genuine being. She was very loving. She was very kind. Joanne's daughter, Alexandria Doyle, says according to what investigators told her, the two drivers who hit Joanne were racing, going more than 70 miles per hour. This was a completely avoidable thing. You make a choice to do something like that, you are selfish. Alexandria says there's been a few milestones in the last two years that she desperately wishes her mother could have been here for, including the birth of her son. For me, losing her and, and knowing that my kids don't get to see her and they don't get that experience hurts. Yeah, they were very gracious to sit down with us and both Larry and Alexandria said that they know that both of these men didn't set out that day uh, to hurt someone, but uh, we know that the judge did grant bail for both at $275,000. At last check, they are still in Multnomah County Jail. Reporting live tonight, Jenny Young, Coin 6 News.